On the Sioux Indian Reservation near Fort Totten, North Dakota, the end of the summer is drawing near. Parents are preparing their children for the upcoming school year to include back to school and sports physicals offered by the Army Reserve Medical Command. U.S. Army Reserve Medical Soldiers from the 7227th Medical Support Unit, or MSU, traveled from Columbia, Missouri to the Kandeska Chicana Community College and a nearby dental center to provide children's physicals and dental services like fillings and x-rays. Some children needed immunizations and vision screening to make sure they could see from the back of the classroom. Children were the focus of this two-week innovative readiness training event on Fort Totten. Parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles arrived often with groups of four or more children. Traditionally, traveling to a clinic appointment on the reservation can take several hours and requires weeks of waiting. So the children's guardians welcomed the 50 soldiers who came to the reservation to provide care. I had seven, I even brought my nieces, or yeah, my nephews down here too. You know, if we went to the clinic like that, you know, it had to be one by one, but then since we had all them, so it kind of just went in steps, so it was more, it was more, it was more faster, more quicker that way than actually um, going to the clinic and seeing them individually. I got eight kids total, seven of them are going to school. These two are leaving away to school and to have everything done in one setting at one time, it's awesome, I love it. And I'm very appreciative that they're, you guys are here doing this. I called to make appointments for my two nephews and nieces for physicals for school and they said they were like backed up with appointments or didn't have, I couldn't get them in before school started. I thank them for coming here so we don't have to wait until school starts or after school starts. The Director of Public Nursing at Spirit Lake Tribal Health is Sherry Schaefer. She was an Army nurse before taking her position on the reservation and knows how valuable this IRT mission is to her community as well as the soldiers of the 7227th MSU. Our motto is prevention through partnership. So this is one of those partnerships that's happening right now with the 7227th. This is an awesome mission for an Army nurse, a medic, a dental tech, a doctor to come in culturally um, to see different cultures, which they might if they're mobilized to go to a different country. Also, um, just the fact that they have to mobilize and do all the logistics and they're setting up almost as if they would if they went into a foreign country and had to make plans as to set up their medical hospital. The officer in charge of the IRT mission for the 7227th is First Lieutenant Nicholas Robinson, a medical operations officer. Success for me is just one, making sure all our soldiers got some type of training, doing the, their MOS, and two, doing everything we can for the reservation. Whatever they need, we'll take care of it for them. I think it's going well. Uh, even just coming down here for the planning conference has been a great experience. Uh, working with the people who run this reservation, you know, on the medical side, and uh, they're excited to have us. We're happy to be here. These IRT missions strengthen the bonds between American citizens and the U.S. military. Many parents stated they hoped their children would join the military someday when they grew up. Reporting from Spirit Lake Reservation in Fort Totten, North Dakota with the Sioux Tribe, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott for AR MedCom Public Affairs Office.